MathTutor.biz Call 3, Practice Paper 3, Question Number 3 Question 3, Part B We've got an equation here that cosec x times cosec x we write as, uh, we write as cosec squared x equals this and we've got to rewrite that and make it look like that so, what should we do? I've got to rewrite this so it looks like that. I think the first thing I'll do is I'll multiply both sides of this by 2. So we'll get 2 cosec x times cosec x, which is written as cosec squared x, equals, multiply that by 2, the 2 will cancel at the bottom, and we've got that. Now where on earth are we going to go from there? This equation that we're trying to arrive at has just got cotangents in it. So somehow or other we've got to get rid of that. Not only get rid of it, but we've got to replace it with the cotangent. Well, what we need to do is to remember this identity. That sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. If we divide each of these terms by sine squared, let's see what we get. This cancels, giving me 1. This sine over cosine is tan. Cosine over sine is cotangent. And the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So we can in fact see where we can get rid of this and get some more cotangents. Because we can replace this cosec squared with 1 plus cotangent squared. Now, when I do this sort of thing, I sometimes get the comment, how am I going to remember that? How am I going to know to do that? How do you spot to do that? Well, this comes with practice, and that's why when you revise for an exam, you do as many past papers as you can possibly do. Not just my practice papers, and watch my DVDs, but the actual exam papers that go with your examination board. The more past papers you do, the more practice papers you do, the more you'll be in tune with this sort of idea. If you don't spot that and you don't realise it, then of course you're snookered and you can't do this question. Well, we have spotted it, so let's get on with it. Let's remove this bracket. Keeping an eye on what we're trying to get, this is looking quite good, isn't it? So let's put that at the front. Let's subtract this from both sides, and we can see that we're getting pretty good. We'll add one to both sides, and that'll make that into a three. So in fact, we've got what the examiner's asked me to show, so I can write this phrase down, which I love doing. If I do something that I've been told to do, I write the phrase as required by the examiner, Please give me my marks. Now again, there can't be any marks for the actual answer because you're given the actual answer. So the marks have got to be for showing how you do it. So we'll have a mark for showing that. We'll have a mark for the substitution of that. And the first bit of tidying up. So that's question three, part B. Now that was just part 3b from this practice paper from www.mathstutor.biz. If you want to see the rest of question 3, because there's a part A and a part C as well, and of course the whole of the rest of the exam paper, practice paper 3, on core 3, then you'll need to go to www.mathstutor.biz and get yourselves this set, set one, 
Core 3, which covers papers 1, 2 and 3. And along with the papers, you get the DVDs with the full solutions and the full marking system. Visit www.mathstutor.biz and see all the things that are available on maths DVDs. Do have a visit.